So this is the first class in module two, and we'll be learning everything Adobe Illustrator. Um, I believe by now you already have Adobe Illustrator installed on your laptop. And the first thing you need to do now is just open Adobe Illustrator while I'm telling you a little bit of information and history about Adobe Illustrator. So Illustrator is a vector-based program and it's unlike Photoshop, which is a raster-based program. Now, the difference between these two is that the format is that raster images are made up of pixels, like we already learned in the very first model. And then Illustrator is made up of vector images, which is made up of vectors. Now, both formats have their own advantages, but for Illustrator, it is best for designs that have to do with a lot of detail, not just print media only, but things that go beyond that that can be used for websites to create icons to create logos illustrator is your resource or your best resource for that now we'll be jumping into the illustrator interface and you need to follow me even as i do this so as your illustrator is opened already just um go to your screen right and what you have at first on your screen right now if you can see just watch my cursor on the screen what you have right now is the start page and the start page for Illustrator that is CC from and above, um, Creative Cloud and above, that's 2017 upwards. Like I told you earlier that you need to install Illustrator that is 2017 and beyond. So once you have this, you have the start page and what you need to know is this. The start page is where you find um, the resources or your previous documents that you've opened on Illustrator. But then for you on your own screen, it will be relatively new. So you find something like create new or open. That's what you have. And for my screen right now, we've done a couple of things. So this is what you have here. Now, what you need to understand now is first, you need to create a document. And creating a document, go to create new or at the top left corner, click file new. And then a window pops up, which is your new document window. And this tells you what to create. So for this particular purpose, we'll be creating an artboard with 1080 by 1080 pixels. I'm sure you get familiar with all these terminologies as you go on. So once you create, I already have it preset. So once you create, it opens up this entire interface. Now, when you enter Illustrator for the very first time, you would have something called Essential Workspace. And this is what we're we'll working with for Illustrator. Now, you need to be very careful to know which one is best and which one might not really work for you. So you need to know which one works for you. And it's based on experiments. Over the years, I've practiced with so many different interfaces that I finally got to one that I actually stick with because it does my productivity and it makes me work very faster. Wait, that's the same thing, you know, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. So getting started, after you've created a document, one thing you should look out for is that on your screen, the very first thing we have here at the top, where you have AI, file, edit, objects, that is your main menu. That is where you get to select everything that controls Illustrator when it comes to creating documents or getting effects or just accessing everything in, in Illustrator. And this also houses the workspace, which shows the different types of activities that can happen in Illustrator. You have automation, you have layout, you have printing, painting, and all sort of beautiful things. Now, from there, we go to the left corner, and this one right here is the tools menu. This is where we get to control. These are the tools that you need to use for Illustrator, um, where you get the, to access your pen, your rectangle, your, what everything, basically, everything is here. Zoom tool, select, deselect, um, and every other thing. So as you go on, you'll be seeing what these tools can do and how to use them. Now, let me make you understand that there is already a document provided for you to understand this very well, and it's the link in the description below. So just access that link, Get this particular document and you can get all the shortcuts what these tools do in detail because we'll just be brushing through them and we'll be doing basic practical on how to use these tools so this is the tools menu and what controls the tools menu is the options menu now if you don't have the options menu one thing you can do is also called the control toolbar which is where you control your tools uh, what you do is go to windows and click on control at the top right and then if you also want to add more this is where you get to access most of them so you click on tools and it begins to bring out all of them now there's also a particular place that is very important that you can see every time and this is the one where my cursor is on top of it that is the current project title so for all your projects that you create this is where the title appears and this means that this is the document you're working with there are times where you have multiple tabs opened up so this is how you know which document you're working on and then on my far right 
where my cursor is right now this is the extensions toolbar this is where you find all the extensions the pro properties layers um, library and everything you need to work with in illustrator now please don't be upset or don't be scared when you don't have exactly what i have on my screen all you need to do is just follow the procedure i've given you or the document you've been provided with to really access these things but then for your very first time in illustrator you will get to see the two the, the workspace here select the workspace that works for you but i would advise you to start with essential because it has everything you need to know about illustrator now bringing out all the required things we need for our workspace first you go to window and then you bring out every single thing you need we'll be needing um, the artboard once you bring that out it appears you'll be needing um, the layers once it appears you have it there you would need stroke you need your swatch which is where you select your colors and a lot of other things that you'll be needing so as time goes on I'll be creating this workspace myself and you'll be seeing how everything works together now one interesting thing about this interface is you can easily just modify it to suit your own needs for example I can just drag the artboard somewhere here and if it appears I can always split it to show what I need at every point in time so um, I bring the swatches to the top also and you create a new one I add my strokes to the swatches and everything you know appears the way it should so remember that as we work basic things we're working with is our layers the artboard um, your swatch or your color selection to um, panel and every other thing so let's focus so now let's focus on some specific parts which is first the tool menu now the tool menu is where you get to access all the tools we're working with in illustrator and if you over on any of the selection of the toolbar of the tools you would see that it shows you the name of the tool and if you have the latest version of illustrator to tell you what this tool does now for example if i over on this it tells me this is selection tool and the shortcut for it is v now in the document you've been provided with you will get to see all these shortcuts and it can be easily accessible now if i move down it shows me that this is direct selection which is a for the shortcut this is the magic one which is y now what these things do um, the selection tool is just to select your objects on your artboard now this is what is called an artboard this white space here because this is the document space you've created so this is like your canvas for your artworks then the second one is the direct selection tool now there's a difference between the selection tool and the direct selection tool it helps you really select things directly as a component instead of selecting them as a group please understand that so the direct selection tool selects elements while the selection tool itself selects everything in that group or as a whole now you would notice that there's a, a very tiny double arrow like a reverse arrow at the right at the top of your toolbar now what you do is if you click it it reduces the width if you unclick it it makes it broader or bigger now once you make it bigger you will notice that there are some there's a way they broke it down into different segments telling you what each segment does now the first segment is for selection second segment is the creation tools the third segment is your transformation tool where you get to transform edit scale skew and all those things then the fourth one is your manipulation tools the fifth one is for viewing while the very last one is the color bar or yeah is the color bar and then the last one down here are for layers and menu now one thing i would really advise you to do right now is the document we provide for you access it really well study it like read every single thing know the shortcuts know what this tool does or what these tools do and this really help you you know come up to speed with how i'll be working with illustrator now we'll be going to the next class but right now we'll be stopping here because there are a couple of things you need to first understand so i want you to go ahead and download the document provided in the link in the description and read it in the next class we'll talk about the output for illustrator and the basic keyboard shortcuts so i'll see you in the next class